I think it's it's all credit to the writers for allowing the two lead characters to have moments where they really annoy each other. And I think that's what keeps it magic, is that it's not just lots of, let's go team together, we'll <laughs> hold hands and guns blazing. It's uh, far more human and far more realistic to have uh, the opposite side of the world. Typically in such a show there would be romance between those guys. Do you think there could ever be a romance between Abby and Ichabod? Ichabod's married for a start, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't like to speculate. We're always asked that question. Know, it's and so funny that people see it that way, but it seems like they're very, very platonic relationships. Um, I think just because they have like this different gender, everyone sort of assumes that they should be physically attractive, but they have like this amazing, huge obstacle. They have to stop the world from ending, which usually gets in the way of like some, you know, romance, dating, kissing, googly eyes, the whole thing. You just don't have time for Right. Um, it is hard when you, when you see the forces that they're dealing with each week. Right. Like, let's just put that on hold and go out on a date. You know? And they're a huge part of, I think a huge part of solving the problem is actually in God's wife, Katrina. Which I think Abby, at least the way that I see her, I think she has a lot of respect for the relationship and feels like it's an important resource in, in, in fighting the war. It would be far too much like Team America when they're going into battle and I really value your friendship. It would be one of those very weird moments. I don't, I agree with Nicole, it would jar, I think. Yeah. So you look different from Ikabot right now, so how do you like wearing the costume? The costume, it's something that I think actors always like to find the character from the inside out. But to be quite honest, a lot of the time, something really clicks when it's from the outside in. So putting on the, the costume and putting on the wig, and it just naturally makes me move differently, is really, really helpful. Uh, particularly when you're sustaining, there's no question that Ichabod's a character part in the, the proper sense. Um, so to sustain that over now, it'll be two years, um, it's very helpful to have something that can snap you into it. Your characters, I mean, this whole story is, is very different uh, than anything else that's on television. Um, is, but is there somewhere that you would like your character to go emotionally that you haven't really gone or you want to go and dig a little deeper? There's, um, all of the stuff that we've explored so far has been really satisfying to me as an actor and the stuff that we're exploring so far in the second season follows on from that. Uh, something that we, we touched upon last year is uh, the nature of turning against your country and against your family to fight for the cause that you believe is right. That. Uh, that's the part that I particularly enjoyed, and I, I think we'll be exploring deeper in the in the future. Um, I felt I'm, I'm, I trust, and I really have enjoyed all of the emotional work and, and, and all the um, challenges that we've had this past year. This year, there have been a lot of really interesting uh, new characters and monsters that they've had to face. I would have to say something that I would love to add to the mix would be um, doubt. Doubting themselves, actually, because that's what people tend to deal with. That's what creates insecurity when people aren't sure that they can actually handle what they what they're supposed to do with their purpose. And sometimes I do I do find when I'm watching things or when I'm reading something that we just take for granted that they know that they're strong and that they can do it for certain. You know, there could be. I would love to explore Abby really not knowing if she can do this. Yeah. And then, you know, potentially, hopefully overcoming it and winning. Yeah, but I think that's that's what's really interesting. Really interesting finding out what your weaknesses are and overcoming them. Um, what are some of your favorite TV shows? <laughs> I love Luther. I'm addicted. 
I'm addicted to Luther. It's a cop show. It's, it's weird. It's almost like it's kind of like that show in a way, but it's not fantasy. It's like there's like a killer of the week, very strange. The way they go about it, oh my god, it's gorgeous BBC. Um, and then Top Chef, because I'm a fool. <laughs> I'm currently catching up on the last season of Walking Dead in preparation for the next one. Like everyone, I can't wait for the next Game of Thrones. Uh, and I am DVRing. Oh, now its name escapes me. It's on HBO. It's one with Christopher Eccleston and Liv Tyler. Leftovers. That's on my DVR, and I can't wait for that. Is it good? <laughs> okay. Really perfect. Good. Well, since we're at Comic Con, who's your favorite superhero? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, is, is there a story behind that? Wait. No, there's not. Um, <laughs> who's my favorite? I'm gonna see whoever I pick. I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm, sure I'm the superhero will be okay with whoever you. <laughs> I'm waiting for Marvel to make the Black Knight. He has an English heritage, and that's uh, and he has a sword and a helmet. And, uh, Very obscure. I see that. Sorry. Very obscure. Uh, yes, yeah, no, quite. Right. Google it. <laughs> How difficult is it to write the old time stuff for Ichabod? How difficult is it? I'm sorry. The, the old time stuff is language and the German. To write, German. Wow. To write it. You know, that's, I, I had so much fun digging into the research, for, uh, look, looking at the revolution, the language of the time, the real history of the time, the people, and then what's nice about the show is I think we then have a freedom to create our own language and lore to, to accompany it, so I feel like we take that as a basis and then, um, you know, uh, create our own language that, that I think flows within the show. And the writers are very patient when I'm such a pedant about it and say, uh, actually, I think you'll find this word was first written in 1820. Too late. It's true. It's true. But, didn't, you know, but, but to that, didn't you tell us on the pilot that it should be lieutenant? It wasn't written Yeah, but that I mean, we, we still say lieutenant. No, 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 but I'm saying it, was writ it wasn't oh, written no, no. in the script that way. You pointed that out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we spell it the same. It's but in our script, we go... No, 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 that's to remind me, <laughs> yeah, clearly. Because <laughs> you might forget. But. Uh, uh, but would there be any deferment in your family? Because I know that your mother is still alive. You know, uh, I think Abby's mother passed away. Uh, she passed away, but we kind of explore that in this, in this next uh, season. Yeah, it must not be better to collaborate. Any new relationships? Yeah. Uh, well, in the finale, Katrina makes it out of purgatory, and of course she's instantly whiffed off with the uh, headless horseman, her fiance, ex-fiance. Um, but she's, you know, she's one step closer to me now. She's out of purgatory, she's in the real world, so that brings a whole new urgency to, to their relationship. Um, of course, Ichabod and Abby, we left them in very difficult situations, and there's a little bit of the, the, the trust there, because a lot of it was Ichabod's fault that we got in, in this problem with the drawing of the map and um, uh, swapping Abby for his wife. And so there, there's a new dynamic to, to their relationship as well. And of course, my son is now the enemy in the war. Uh, and that's been a really particularly exciting one. That's just a few of the problems. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, there, are, there are some great new relationships, I think, this season. Yeah, and there are new characters coming in as well. There's a, an, a supernatural arms dealer. There's a new sheriff of Sleepy Hollow. Um, who else have we got? Uh, there, there will be a uh, supernatural character introduced later on in the season that we haven't yet seen. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. He, you will definitely see him. We actually just shot with him last week. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.